Google just dropped a game-changing tool aimed talking about Gemini 3, the world's most powerful model, working with VS Code in ways that feel like science fiction. This isn't just another AI tool, it's set to transform coding forever. Hey, if we haven't met already, it's Ibrahim's digital twin. If you're tired of wrestling with bugs or explaining your own code to yourself, Google's Gemini Code Assist is about to make your life easier. It lives right in VS Code and helps fix code, explain stuff, and even generate snippets, all that. Today, we're just going to walk through the setup. Super simple, no tech headaches, takes like five minutes. If you're ready, let's get you hooked up and testing it out. Before we jump into VS Code, let's take a quick check. What do you need? First, VS Code on your machine. It's free from code.visualstudio.com if you don't have it yet. We're using the latest, but honestly, any recent version works fine. Second, just a Google account that's just for signing in, nothing fancy. Third, let's make a quick folder for a test project. Open your terminal, type mkdr Gemini test and cd Gemini test, then type code with a period to open it in VS Code. That's it, nothing else. Let's go. All right, step one, installing the thing inside VS Code, click that extensions icon on the left, you know, the four squares, or just hit Control plus Shift plus X, super fast. In the search bar at the top, type Gemini Code Assist. It should pop up first. Look for Google's official one. Click Install. Then click Trust Publisher and Install. Give it a second, maybe restart VS Code if it asks you to. All good? Look for the new Google Gemini icon in your sidebar. It looks like a star icon. That's your AI ready to chat with. Step 2. Sign in. The easiest part. After the installation is complete, you'll see this welcome page as shown here. Okay, let's click that Gemini icon. It opens a chat window. See the sign in button? Hit it. VS Code might say open in browser. Do that or add it to trusted domains as I did. It'll take you to Google's login page. Just sign in with Google like normal. Pick your account if you've got multiples and follow other steps if needed. Yeah. Next screen is just confirming you downloaded from Google. Say yes to the permissions if needed, then hit sign in to continue. Now it'll take you straight to an authentication successful page. All right, now head back to VS Code. See that chat window? You're connected now. Chat's live now and ready to roll. If it glitches, just refresh or restart. It happens sometimes on slower connections. That's it for signing. No extra apps, no hassle. You're good to test it out next. Step three, a fast tweak or two. See that gear icon? At the bottom left in VS Code, click on it, then click settings. Or go to File, Preferences, then Settings. Or you can just use this shortcut, Control plus Comma. That will get you to Global Settings. Once there, search for like Gemini. You can turn on or off things like auto suggestions or pick your language right here. Nothing you have to change, but it's there if you want it. It'll also mention privacy. Google sees your code snippets to help it work, but you decide. Want to opt out of training their AI? Click that privacy settings link under enable telemetry, or you can click on privacy settings under the three horizontal dots at the top right of the Gemini chat window. Then uncheck the box of that privacy notice. You can turn off reporting and sending usage statistics if you're super private about it by unchecking enable telemetry. It saves right away, no big deal. Step four, let's just make sure it's working. Create a new file, call it test.js, type something simple yourself. Or we can just hit Ctrl plus I for the quick smart actions menu, then simply choose generate new code, ask it and let it do the magic. The great thing here is how it presents the results. Gemini Div displays all changes in a clear side-by-side -side comparison mode, making it easy to review and decide whether to accept or decline the new code. However, let's not fully rely on the AI-generated code. Instead, let's understand, change, and improve it. Now let's ask it again to explain our code. If it replies with a breakdown, you're golden. Pin the chat window if you want it always open. 
but if it doesn't reply, double check your sign in or give VS Code a quick restart that usually does the trick. As you can see, we can control which files are included as context items here. Okay, it's time to try the agent mode. You can access specific agent commands using the slash key, but for this demo, we'll keep it simple. Just type any question and hit enter. There it is. We can also click edit to view the diff side by side. Then simply decide whether to accept or reject the code. Now try it with your own messy code. It seriously feels like having a super smart friend helping out right in your editor. And that's it. Gemini Code Assist, all set up in VS Code. You're now armed for AI-powered coding. Seriously, no more solo struggles on bugs. If this helped you out, hit that like and subscribe button. Share it with your friends. In the next video, I'll show you how to use Gemini to fix real bugs live. But hey, go comment below. What's the first thing you're going to ask Gemini? I'll check them out. Thanks for watching. Now go build something cool. Catch you later.